share information uh, with the Minister uh, and with the Minister of Health uh, and the English Treasury. And the new Commissioner, Lester Levy, says people are having to wait too long for care and the reset will right. ensure decisions are made closer to the communities. US Vice President Kamala Harris has unofficially secured enough support from a majority of Democratic Party delegates to become the party's presidential nominee. According to an Associated Press survey, 2,538 delegates back her, well beyond the 1,976 needed for the nomination. Earlier today, Ms. Harris kicked off her presidential campaign with a rousing speech to campaign workers. She'll go after Republican nominee Donald Trump like the courtroom prosecutor she once was. And the winner has been picked from a school raffle in Wellington, which was offering a high-profile prize of two tickets to see Taylor Swift in London, including airfares, accommodation, and spending money. Clyde Key School sold all 4,500 of its raffle tickets. School board chair Michelle Little told Cheap Point ticket holder 3,089 was the lucky winner. When we first tried to contact her, and she could not believe her luck. She was absolutely flawed, said that she was almost in tears when she found out, which honestly is just such a lovely thing to hear. Michelle Little says there are hopes for a second raffle with tickets to Taylor Swift in Canada this time on account. And the All Blacks sevens coach, uh, Tamazi Farmer, uh, says they're more than ready for the Olympic campaign. The All Blacks sevens are one of the first New Zealand teams in action at the Games, with the sides opening games on Thursday morning against Japan and South Africa. <laughs> The All Black Seven has won silver at the Tokyo Games three years ago. Meanwhile, Spring Adults wing Sebor Nkosi has reportedly tested positive for a banned substance. South African media is reporting Nkosi, who won the World Cup with the Springboks in 2019, was tested by World Rugby along with three other Springboks in May. White's footballer Riley Bidwell has been ruled out of the Paris Olympics after suffering a hamstring injury with Lockdown Davis promoted to the squad. Midfielder Ben Old is unavailable for the second first match against Gideon Nice on Thursday morning due to her injury and will be replaced by Liam Gideon. As the Martin have begun testing their new hypercar, which they will return to Le Mans with uh, next year. The last outfight win at Le Mans for the British outfit was in 1959, with 2025 set to mark their first tilt at the race since 2011. And Tour de France winner Tadej Pogacar has withdrawn from the Olympic road race, citing extreme fatigue. And that's the news. Christopher Luxon lashes out at Health New Zealand standing. A royalty TV star kills and eats a weaker. Mr. Jones said he was desperate and hungry when the incident occurred, and he knew he was breaking home when he did it. And the head of the Secret Service gets a telling off. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee? As we ask them to write this tape, yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of shit today. Telling us to you right. What are the reports? RNZ National. Now the short forecast from mid service until midnight tomorrow, North Sound, North Sound, Waikato and Coromandel Peninsula. A few showers, some heavy clearing for a time this afternoon and evening. Wide Cornwall, Tomaranui, Tofu, Bay of Plenty, Gisborne, mainly fine, but areas of cloud and isolated showers. Taranaki, Taihapi, Whanganui and Manawatu, also Hawke's Bay and Wadadapa. Cloudy periods, isolated showers clearing this evening. Forward of Fenua to Wellington, also milder, cloudy periods becoming fine tomorrow morning. Well, so and Western. It's mainly fine, but not increasing in Buller and Western tomorrow. Hatterby and Old Tiger, it's mainly fine, but a few showers about the next peninsula. Kesa, south under Fjordland, cloudy periods, isolated showers developing, then becoming widespread in Fjordland tomorrow morning. And for the Chatham Islands, occasional rain is into a few showers tomorrow afternoon. It is eight minutes past five, and we'll check points on Susanna now, Paolo. No, my, okay.